Imagine standing in front of a truck so big that your entire body looks like a tiny dot in front of its wheel. Now imagine another truck that can carry more weight in one trip than a whole line of cargo trains. These machines are real. They roam far away from cities, hidden in deserts, deep mines, and remote mountain regions most people will never visit. And today, you're going to meet them. In this video, you'll discover 10 of the largest dump trucks ever built. Massive machines that seem more like walking skyscrapers than vehicles. Some run on electricity, some have two engines, and one of them is so gigantic that it literally changed the limits of heavy-duty engineering forever. Stick with me until the end, because the biggest one on this list doesn't just break records, it destroys them. Let's start with the Caterpillar 773, a truck born in the late 1970s that still works today. When this machine first rolled into mines and construction sites, operators were shocked at how smooth and reliable it was. You might expect something its size to feel slow or clumsy. But the 773 had a powerful V12 engine with 760 horsepower that pushed it up to 70 kilometers per hour. That is fast for a vehicle meant to carry 55 tons at once. And here's the amazing part many of these trucks have been working non-stop for more than 30 years. Some mines in Arizona ran entire fleets of 773s for decades, logging hundreds of thousands of operating hours. The reason is simple. This truck was over thick steel, giant suspension cylinders, and wheels so big they make pickup trucks look like toys. When you stood next to it, the engine sounded like distant thunder, quiet but powerful. You could feel the vibration in your chest. And even though newer, bigger trucks exist today, the Caterpillar 773 still earns respect. But trust me, the next one takes extreme to a whole new level. Because now you'll meet the Western Star 6900X Twin Steer just hearing the name feels like you're about to face some kind of mechanical B-stand. That's exactly what this thing is. Built in Canada for brutal northern terrain, this truck has not one but two front steering axles. That means two sets of steering wheels helping it crawl through mud, ice, snow, and rugged mountains. It has a Detroit diesel V12 engine with 625 horsepower and monstrous torque. Even fully loaded, it can reach around 90 kilometers per hour, which is crazy for a heavy hauler. Its body looks like something straight from a military convoy. High cabin, thick metal all around, and tires that look like they belong on armored vehicles. Operators say the ride feels surprisingly smooth, even when crossing frozen ground. One unit reportedly traveled over 1,500 kilometers across Arctic ice without a single breakdown. Just imagine that days and days of freezing winds, ice cracking under the weight, and the truck still pushing forward like nothing happened. But if you think this monster is unbeatable, wait until you see the one that literally survived a mine collapse. Meet the WTW220E, a truck from South Africa that not many people outside the mining world have even heard of. And that's exactly what makes it so interesting. While other trucks on this list work in huge open spaces, the WTW220E was built for tight underground tunnels where there's barely room to breathe, let alone drive a giant machine. With an 8-liter V8 engine and 700 horsepower, this truck focuses on power at low speed because in underground mines, slow and steady wins the race. Its cab is surrounded by a metal cage, making it look more like a survival vehicle than a dump truck. It needs that protection, because underground mines are unpredictable. There's a famous story among operators about a WTW-220E that got trapped under fallen rock after a cave-in. Workers believed it was destroyed, but two days later, when the debris was cleared, the truck started up as if nothing had happened. Not even structural damage. That alone earned it legendary status. And yet, the next truck didn't earn its fame from toughness it earned it from pure, unstoppable power. Now enter the Crest Coal Hauler, a machine designed for one purpose, moving huge amounts of coal inside power plants and industrial sites. You won't see this one out in the open because it was built for internal transport only. But that doesn't make it any less impressive. In fact, what's under its hood is unbelievable 60-liter V16 Cummins engine with 2,700 horsepower and 9,000 newton meters of torque. If torque had a sound, it would be this truck's engine. Deep, steady, almost like a mechanical heartbeat. It can carry 180 tons of coal in a single trip. And it's weird, does in offset cab. Side tilting dump bed makes it look like a cross between a forklift, a tank, and a dump truck. Operators love it because it's very comfortable to drive. Some have even worked with the same unit for more than 25 years. That's how dependable it is. But enough about specialty machines, now it's time to meet a modern titan from one of the world's biggest manufacturers. Dot the Caterpillar 798 AC Marks. The moment when dump trucks stopped being just big machines and started becoming engineering marvels. This thing is enormous over 7 meters tall, with a dump bed that could easily fit a small house. When you stand next to it, you feel tiny and insignificant. It uses a massive 85-liter V20 engine, producing 3,500 horsepower and over 10,000 newton meters of torque. But what makes it special is the electric drive system. The giant diesel engine doesn't power the wheels directly. 
Instead, it powers generators that send electricity to the wheel motors. The result? Smooth acceleration, constant torque, and incredible efficiency even when hauling 372 tons at once. You'll mostly find these beasts in places like the Chilean copper mines or Australian iron mines some of the toughest. Mining environments on Earth and each unit costs more than a luxury private jet. Yet mining companies still buy them because they pay for themselves fast. But if you think the 798 AC is impressive, the next truck on this list helped shape modern mining itself. The truck that helped shape modern mining is the Komatsu 930E. If you work in mining, this name is almost legendary. It's not the biggest truck Komatsu ever made, but it became the standard for ultra-class haul trucks around the world. Imagine a machine that can carry around 290 to 320 tons of rock in one go, day after day, year after year. The 930E uses a huge diesel engine connected to an electric drive system. The engine doesn't turn the wheels directly. Instead, it works like a generator, sending power to electric motors on the rear axle. That means smoother acceleration, fewer moving parts, and better control on steep slopes. Some versions of the 930E have engines with up to 3,500 horsepower, which lets them climb long ramps fully loaded without complaining. For you, as an operator, the cab feels like a small control room. Huge windows, digital displays, and systems that constantly monitor temperature, power, and load. Over the years, thousands of 930Es were sold, making it one of the best-selling ultra-class haul trucks ever. And here's a detail that sounds like science fiction. In some mines, these trucks don't even have human drivers anymore. They're controlled by autonomous systems using GPS, lasers, and sensors, moving around like giant robots carrying hundreds of tons by themselves. Impressive, right? But wait, till you see a machine that once held the title of the world's largest payload truck. Now we travel to Germany to meet a truck that looks like it came from the future. The Leibhar T282B, when it was launched in the early 2000s, this truck shook the entire mining industry. At that time, it offered the largest payload capacity in the world, around 363 tons, making it a true record breaker. The T282B also uses a diesel electric system, combining a powerful high horsepower diesel engine with an efficient AC electric drive. That means massive pulling power with reduced mechanical stress and less maintenance compared to older systems. Visually, the T282B is pure intimidation. It's incredibly tall and wide, with a cab that looks like a small balcony hanging off the side of a massive steel cliff. When it's fully loaded and driving past, workers often describe it like a moving building. The sound is not a loud roar, but more like a deep, continuous hum, similar to a giant turbine. The truck was designed to handle rough mine roads, carrying hundreds of tons at a time, and still stay stable and predictable for the driver. It became a common sight in the world's largest open pit mines, from South America to Australia. For some operators, this truck became their office for decades. They started their careers in a T282B and retired in one. But if you think that's where mining trucks stop evolving, think again. The next machine is like its bigger, smarter cousin. Now let's talk about pure modern power. The Komatsu 980E5. This beast is one of Komatsu's biggest electric drive dump trucks and is designed specifically for extreme production mining. It can carry around 363 tons of material in one trip, putting it right at the top of the capacity charts. Under its massive body sits a 3,500 horsepower V18 engine that feeds energy into an AC electric drive system. The result? Constant power, smooth control, and high efficiency, even when working at high altitudes or hot conditions where other engines might lose performance. Inside the cab, the 980E5 is surprisingly modern. There are tinted windows, sound insulation, air conditioning, and digital instruments that show everything from tire conditions to fuel usage. It also has smart systems for traction and braking, helping the driver keep control even on slippery roads. Some versions can even send data in real time to the control room, so engineers can see exactly how the truck is performing, second by second. Mining companies choose the 980E5 because it offers a mix of brutal hauling power and advanced technology. It's like driving a moving data center that also happens to be a 400-ton rock carrier. But hold on, if Japan and Germany are building monsters like these, you might be wondering, what about China? Well, China decided not just to join the game, but to challenge some of the biggest names directly. Enter the XCMG XDE440, China's answer to the ultra-heavy dump truck race. This truck was built to compete in the 400-ton payload class, and it does so with style. Its rated payload is around 400 tons, putting it shoulder to shoulder with the biggest trucks from Western brands. The XDE440 uses an AC electric drive system developed by XCMG itself. The diesel engine works together with this system to provide constant power, strong traction, and smooth control at different speeds. The goal is clear, high performance with low operating cost and high reliability. The design of the XDE440 looks modern and sharp. 
The cab is centered, with large windows and LED lighting all around the truck to make night operations safer. Its electronic systems include real-time monitoring of load weight, braking, and energy use. Some versions make use of advanced diagnostics that can warn operators and mechanics before a component fails, reducing downtime. You'll usually find the XDE440 in massive coal and metal mines in China and other parts of Asia, but it's also slowly appearing in mines in places like Australia and Africa as the brand expands its reach. It's a clear sign that the race for the biggest, most efficient dump truck is now truly global. But even with all of these giants, there is still one truck that stands above them all literally. Now it's time for the king. The Beylazy 75710 from Belarus is not just another big truck. It is, as of today, one of the largest and highest bellowed haul trucks ever built in the world. Imagine a machine capable of carrying 450 tons of material in a single load. That's almost half a million kilograms. Its empty weight alone is around 360 tons, and when fully loaded, it becomes a rolling mountain of metal and rock. To move something this gigantic, one engine is not enough. So the Bailey's 75710 uses two V16 diesel engines, each linked to an electric drive system. Together, they produce about 4,600 horsepower. Power is sent to electric motors that drive the wheels, giving it four-wheel drive and four-wheel steering. That's right, a truck this gigantic can actually steer with all of its wheels. This helps it turn more easily, even though it is over 20 meters long, almost 10 meters wide, and more than 8 meters tall. Each tire is so big that you could stand inside the rim. A single tire weighs several tons by itself. The dump bed is almost the size of a tennis court. Now imagine that lifting up and pouring out hundreds of tons of rock at once. The Bailey's 75,710 was designed to work in extreme places like huge coal, mines in Siberia, where temperatures can drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius. Despite its size, it can still reach speeds of about 60 to 64 kilometers per hour on mine roads when conditions allow. Inside the cab though, life is not as harsh as outside. The driver gets a fully air-conditioned, soundproof cabin with large digital panels and satellite monitoring. In Belarus, this truck is a national symbol. There are stamps and statues honoring it, and many people visit the Beylazy factory just to see this monster with their own eyes. Only a small number of these trucks exist, and each one works in very strategic mining operations. Seeing one in person is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. But now that you've met it here, there's one question left. What does all of this mean for the future of heavy trucks? When you look at all these machines together, from the classic Caterpillar 773 to the twin-engine Beylaze 75710, one thing becomes clear. These are not just trucks. They're tools that quietly build the modern world. The roads you drive on, the buildings you live in. The power plants that produce your electricity all of them depend on raw materials moved by giants like these. Some of them are known for extreme reliability, working non-stop for decades. Others are famous for groundbreaking technology, like electric drives, autonomous operation, or smart monitoring systems that send data in real time. And more, and more. You're seeing a push toward cleaner, more efficient designs, with better fuel usage and systems that reduce wear and tear. At the same time, the idea of driverless megatrucks is no longer just a dream. In several mines, autonomous Komatsu and other trucks are already working day and night, following digital routes with almost no human input. So you might be wondering, will we one day see 100% electric, fully autonomous dump trucks that make even the Bailey's 75,710 look outdated? Right now, companies are already experimenting with hybrid and fully electric haul trucks, using battery packs and trolley systems that draw power from overhead lines on certain routes. These systems can drastically reduce fuel consumption and emissions while still moving huge amounts of material. Some smaller mining trucks are already fully electric, and as battery technology improves, ultra-class trucks may follow. That means the next generation of megatrucks could be quieter, cleaner, and even more efficient. But even if the engines change, one thing will stay the same. The need to move mountains. Literally. Mines keep getting deeper. And the demand for minerals, metals, coal, and construction material isn't slowing down. So the race to build bigger, stronger, and smarter dump trucks will continue. Before you go, think about this. Somewhere right now, while you're watching this video, one of these giants is climbing out of a mine with hundreds of tons of rock in its bed. The driver is sitting several meters above the ground, looking out over a landscape that these machines themselves are reshaping. Or maybe there is no driver at all, just sensors and software guiding a fully loaded truck along a digital path. From the old-school Caterpillar workhorses to the ultra-modern Komatsu, Liber XCMG, and the insane Beylazy 75710, each of these trucks tells a part of the story of human engineering, and that story is still being written. Dot. If you enjoyed this journey through the world of colossal dump trucks, 
You can support the channel by leaving a like and sharing this video with someone who loves machines as much as you do. If you want to see more content about extreme vehicles, heavy machinery, and the hidden technology that keeps our world running, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Now I want to hear from you. Which of these trucks surprised you the most? If you had the chance to ride in one of them for a day, which model would you choose the reliable Komatsu 930E? The futuristic Liber T2A2B the high-tech XCMG XDE440, or the king of them all, the Beylay Z75710. And do you think that in a few decades, all of these giants will be replaced by silent, battery-powered robots? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Your opinion helps shape what we explore next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thought about the narrative perspective. The entire script speaks directly to you, the viewer, using you and we to create a close, conversational feeling, as if a friend is personally guiding you through these massive machines. This second-person style helps you imagine yourself standing beside each truck, hearing it, and feeling its power. For storytelling devices, the script uses strong hooks at the beginning, curiosity gaps before each new truck, and smooth transitions like, but the next one goes even further to keep you watching. It mixes hard facts with vivid comparisons, such as calling the trucks moving, buildings or rolling mountains, and includes short real-world stories and legends from mines, to make the machines feel alive instead of just technical objects. For YouTube use, this script works best for a video around 18 to 22 minutes long, with calm but engaging pacing. Visually, it fits a mix of cinematic footage, mine drone shots, slow pans of the trucks, simple on-screen specs, and maybe a few animations showing how D-Cell Electric Drive works. The tone should stay epic, but friendly, with a clear voice over and minimal background music so viewers can focus on both the visuals and the story. Asterisk. 